scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog podcast, this time talking about Time in Office, main range release number 230. This time, featuring Peter Davison as the Fifth Doctor, Louise Jameson as Leela, Janet Fielding as Tegan. Yes, I know, you heard that right. It's got Leela and Tegan in it. What more do you need? You know what? If you just knew those bits of information, you'd go, fine, take my money, take it now. Which is fair enough, but you might as well get a review anyway. That's all right. I mean, let's face it, this has been written by Eddie Robson and directed by Helen Goldwyn. It's good to see more female directors out there. Admittedly, it's more work that I'm not getting, but that's beside the point. A meritocracy is built on such things. I'm sorry, I've gone all pseudo-political. Do you remember when I first started podcasting and words like meme and trope and gender essentialism weren't even heard of? It was basically, most reviews consisted of somebody going, hey, this is really good. Well, you know what, let's return back to basics with, hey, this is really good. Now, it's sold on paper as one thing and one thing only. It's Doctor Who does the thick of it. The political drama of intrigue, and it's not exactly the West Wing, it's more Veep, that kind of thing. Of course, this isn't really a comedy. It has its funny moments, but it's still always, essentially, Doctor Who. To explain more of this, let's look at the synopsis. The Doctor's adventures in time and space are over. The Time Lords have recalled him to Gallifrey. But what he faces on his home planet is worse than any trial. Following the disappearance of President Beruza, the High Council condemned him to the highest offer. He can't evade his responsibilities a nanosecond longer. So all hail Lord High President, all hail President Doctor. Rassilon save him. This time, there really is no escape. Yes, the Doctor is on Gallifrey. And if you want to cram this into the Gallifrey audio range, you can, if you really want to. I wouldn't bother. I'd listen to this as a thing by itself. Leela's on Gallifrey. Leela's still got K9, and that would be a spoiler for anyone else, but not me. And that's lovely. But basically what you've got here is four individual yet linked stories all taking place in the doctor's time as lord president the proper lord president you know robes hats the lot it just works if you've got any doubts about this being anything like a romp or just something that's a bit disposable forget it it's actually really good it helps bridge gaps between design of one type of gallifrey and another It fills in the gaps, which is what Big Finish is so very good at. Your basic story is split into, well, the Doctor arrives, story one, and gets given the job that he can't really say no to. And there's hilarious gags about the Fifth Doctor having to marry Tegan. No, seriously, I know. Janet is shining here. She's given so much to do. Yes, I know Tolo has been left in the TARDIS like a faulty chameleon, but you know what? That's fine, because the Janet that we know and love is shining through Tegan here. The one that we absolutely adore and would watch and listen to till the cows come home is on form. She's given things to do and it works, and none of it's beyond her character. The job that she's given on Gallifrey, I don't want to spoil, because they're great. Not only is Janet's character given so much more to do than usual, She rises to it completely. And you know, when you listen to those extras, that you wish you were there for the conversations between Louise Jameson and Janet. But you weren't, and that's fine. What is good is that you get to experience them all. You get to experience treaties, the Doctor sorting out things that have happened in the past. All sorts of hijinks in the Doctor's old rooms at universities. 
And yes, I know, once the mystery had started to be eroded about who the Doctor was and where he was from, it all started going pear-shaped, and that is an argument that I can live with, but now that the mystery is gone, let's revel in it. So, I don't want to spoil any more, I do want to play you the trailer, and let you experience for yourself this fantastic little story. But before I go, I just want to say that there is a major new podcasting project afoot. It will be 26 episodes of me and someone else chatting about something that I suspect you already love. Search on Twitter for UFOcast. UFO, the letters, underscore, cast. You won't regret it. So until next time, be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Doctor Who. Time in office. Computer, start recording. My name is Fagax, and I'm a student at the Academy. It is good to meet you. Leela, isn't it? Yes, he never could resist bringing strange creatures home with him. No, keep away, I'm warning you. (laughs) Police brutality! Yes, the good news is you've just interrupted a conversation I didn't want to have, so I'm already well disposed to whatever you have to say. There's a 93.2% chance that TARDIS is going to overload and explode in the ancient past, causing life on Gallifrey to unhappen. (sighs) Your skill is pitiful. You do not deserve to wield such a fine weapon. Incredible. It's High Barnet. A wholly alien civilization. It's Earth, okay? And not even a very interesting bit. Take me back to Gallifrey. A temporal drill. I'm going to use this to open a wormhole from then to now. No! No! What's the matter? It's broken! It's feeding back on itself. We're just hurtling further backwards in time. I knew this would happen. I knew if we went too far into the future... They are using a vortex manipulator to bring your TARDIS back to Gallifrey. Impact in five, four... Big Finish. We love stories. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast, available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting Patreon? dot com slash tin dog contact the show on tin hyphen dog at hotmail.co.uk the tin dog podcast is a founder member of the doctor who podcast alliance 